Hello, and welcome to the Drug Discovery World podcast. My name is Giles, and I'm here to take you through another topical and insightful article from Drug Discovery World. Today's episode is taken from our fall 2011 issue, and is titled Smack Mimetics, a new class of cancer therapeutics. Although originally written in 2011, we have chosen to feature this article for this episode, as it is still one of DDW's most read articles, and currently ranks number one on Google for the topic of smack memetics. The article was written by Dr. Mark A. McKinley, who at the time of writing was co-founder, senior vice president, and chief scientific officer of Tetralogic Pharmaceuticals, and he is currently global health director at the Task Force for Global Health. So now on to the main article, SMAC Memetics, a new class of cancer therapeutics. SMAC Memetics are a new class of targeted drugs being developed for the treatment of solid tumours and haematologic cancers. SMAC Memetics specifically induce apoptotic cancer cell death and block pro-survival signalling in cancer cells. This episode provides an overview of the biology of SMAC an endogenous pro-apoptotic molecule, and the development of SMAC memetics as a novel therapeutic approach to treat cancer. Recent advances in the field of cancer biology have helped to address the challenges of existing cancer therapies and pave the way for new classes of therapeutic agents that target cellular pathways involved in the formation, progression, and death of tumor cells. Numerous cancer therapies depend on the tumour cell's ability to undergo apoptosis, programmed cell death. However, tumour cells typically develop a series of mutations that can lead to uncontrolled proliferation and also enable them to evade apoptotic death. Dysregulation of the apoptotic pathways is a major contributor to cancer development and progression and plays a significant role in cancer resistance to chemotherapies targeted therapies, and radiation. Even if tumours initially respond to these therapies, they often require resistance during the course of treatment. Tumour cells can resist apoptosis by increasing expression of proteins that block pro-apoptotic pathways. Overcoming the fundamental mechanisms of cancer resistance and survival, and activating cancer cell death through apoptosis, is a focus of current trends in cancer research and drug development. One novel therapeutic approach is the development of small molecule drugs that mimic SMAC, second mitochondria-derived activator of caspase, a pro-apoptotic mitochondrial protein that is an endogenous inhibitor of a family of cellular proteins called the inhibitor of apoptosis proteins, IAPs. IAPs regulate apoptosis and cancer cell survival and represent the last line of defense for cancer against cell death by apoptosis. Clinically, IAPs are a key factor in cancer survival, progression, and poor prognosis, and are associated with tumour resistance to therapies, and as such, are recognised as important therapeutic targets to selectively induce apoptosis in tumour cells. The goal of SMAC memetics, also called IAP antagonists, is to suppress the IAPs, re-establishing the apoptotic pathways and inducing cancer cell death. The unique action of SMAC memetics can also enhance the therapeutic activity of many existing cancer therapies. This episode will provide an overview of the biology of IAPs, its natural inhibitor SMAC, and the current status of the clinical development of SMAC memetics, which target IAPs in cancer. Once again, it's worth noting that this current status might have changed slightly since the article was written originally in 2011. Inhibitor of apoptosis protein, IAP, family. The inhibitor of apoptosis proteins, IAPs, are important regulators of cell death and survival. Currently, seven human IAPs have been identified, XIAP, CIAP1, CIAP2, ILP2, Bruce slash Apollon, Survivin, and Livin, ML-IAP. IAPs represent the last line of defense against inadvertent cell death signaling, 
by inhibiting caspases and by regulating the pro-survival and apoptosis signaling via death receptor complexes. Caspases are cysteine-dependent aspartyl-specific proteases and central players in cellular apoptosis. They are tightly regulated on several levels. Caspases are expressed as inactive zymogens, procaspases, and their activation follows a strictly controlled pattern. Caspases can be activated by two distinct pathways, the extrinsic apoptotic pathway, triggered by external death ligands, and the intrinsic apoptotic pathway, that is initiated through effects on the mitochondria. The extrinsic apoptotic pathway is activated when members of the family of TNF-like death ligands bind to their respective receptors TNFR1, TNFR2, FAS, DR4, or DR5, death receptors located on the cell membrane. When CIAP1 and CIAP2 are absent in the death receptor complex, the binding of death ligands to their receptors leads to the formation of the death-inducing signaling complex, in which adapter proteins bind with their death domain and induce the recruitment and activation of the initiator caspases, caspase 8 or 10. More recently, it has been shown that loss of CIAP1 and CIAP2 alone can lead to caspase 8 activation in the presence of SMAG mimetic through the formation of the reposome composed of RIPK1, FADD, caspase 8 or 10, and CFLIP. The activation of caspase 8 or 10 leads to cleavage and activation of the downstream executioner caspases, caspase 3 and 7. These executioner caspases usually remain in an inactive state in the cytosol of the cells. The activation of the executioner caspases eventually results in apoptosis when not inhibited by XIAP2. Caspase 8 can also cleave the proapoptotic BH3 only protein, BID, to truncated BID, TBID, which can translocate into the mitochondria, triggering the activation of the intrinsic pathway, resulting in the cytochrome C release and apotosome formation, leading to caspase 9 and 3 activation. The intrinsic pathway is activated by intrinsic cell death signals, such as hypoxia, genotoxic stress, or other types of cellular stress. These signals lead to mitochondrial outer membrane permeabilization, MOMP, and the release of several proteins into the cytosol, including cytochrome C, SMAC slash Diablo, subsequently referred to as SMAC, and others. The assembled multiprotein complex, the apotosome, induces the activation of caspase 9. Both pathways converge in a common pathway that ultimately leads to apoptosis by inducing the executioner caspases, caspase 3 and 7, which, when not blocked by XIAP, result in DNA fragmentation and cell death. In addition to the controlled activation of caspases, apoptosis is also regulated by IAP inhibition of activated caspases. IAPs regulate the activity of initiator and executioner caspases and are defined by the bacular virus IAP repeat BIR domains of approximately 70 to 80 amino acid residues that collate zinc ions and mediate protein protein interactions. Of the eight mammalian IAPs that have been identified, four are involved in regulating apoptosis CIAP1, CIAP2, XIAP, and MLIAP. With the exception of MLIAP, with only one BIR domain, each contains three BIR domains at their amino terminus, BIR1, BIR2, and BIR3. All four IAPs contain a carboxy terminal ring, really interesting new gene, zinc finger domain, which has E3 ubiquitin ligase activity. XIAP is the only IAP that inhibits the executioner caspases, caspase 3 and 7, and the initiator caspase 9. IAPs and NFB pathways, cell survival mechanism. CIAP1 and CIAP2 play an important role in regulating TNF-mediated NFB signal transduction 
via the canonical and non-canonical NFB pathways. CIAPs interact with TNF receptor-associated factor 2, TRAF2, and activate the canonical pathway through the ubiquitylation of receptor-interacting protein, RIP, kinase, RIP1, RIPK1. The non-canonical pathway is inhibited by the CIAPs, TRAF2 and TRAF3, via ubiquitylation and degradation of NFB-inducing kinase, NIK. The activated canonical pathway, as well as the inactivated non-canonical NFB pathways, influence the expression pattern of a variety of transcription factors that participate in immune responses, inflammation, cell growth, survival, and development. The mammalian NFB family includes five members that form various transcription-regulating complexes. Importantly, the constitutive activation of NFB and chronic inflammation play a major role in tumour development, particularly lymphomas, leukemias, and many solid tumours. The pro-apoptotic mechanism of SMAC SMAC, second mitochondria-derived activator of caspase, also known as Diablo, direct inhibitor of apoptosis protein-binding protein with low PL, is a pro-apoptotic mitochondrial protein that is released upon apoptotic stimuli into the cytosol and binds to the IAPs. SMAC antagonizes IAP-mediated caspase inhibition by direct inhibition and or induces proteosomal degradation of some members of the IAP family, CIAP1 and CIAP2. A study published in the year 2000 by Yigon Shi's laboratory at Princeton University described the structural and biochemical basis of apoptotic activation by SMAC. SMAC homodimerizes and forms a stable protein dimmer. The ability of SMAC to promote both the proteolytic activation of procaspase 3 and the enzymatic activity of mature caspase 3 depends on its ability to specifically interact with XIAP. SMAC binds to the BIR1, BIR2 linker region and BIR3 of XIAP, disrupting the inhibition of caspase 3 and 7 and preventing cell death. SMAC and SMAC mimetics induce proteosomal degradation of CIAP1 and CIAP2, resulting in inhibition of the canonical pathway and activation of the non-canonical pathway via NIK stabilization. IAPs, SMAC, and cancer Increased expression of IAPs is found in many types of human cancers and is associated with chemoresistance, disease progression, and poor prognosis. In vitro, higher expression of IAPs promotes resistance to chemotherapy agents, as well as radiation. In acute myeloid leukemia, higher expression of XIAP may lead to a poorer prognosis. IAPs protect tumour cells from the cytotoxic effects of cancer-related inflammation induced by TNF or TRAIL that are prevalent in the tumour microenvironment of many tumours. Therefore, a therapeutic approach that results in the degradation of CIAPs and or antagonism of XIAP could promote the lethal effects of TNF on cancer cells while shutting down the survival pathway mediated by TNF-driven NFB expression. Preclinical studies have shown that SMAC expression can be an important factor in determining a cancer cell's sensitivity to undergo apoptosis when induced by a variety of apoptotic stimuli. Several studies have shown that reduced expression of SMAC is associated with cancer progression. For example, Mizutani et al. showed that SMAC expression was down-regulated in renal cell carcinoma, RCC, and an absence of SMAC protein expression predicted worse outcomes in RCC. Another study showed that RCC patients with low SMAC mRNA expression had four times higher risk of dying from RCC than those with high expression. Additionally, testicular tumours with a more advanced malignant phenotype showed lower SMAC mRNA expression levels. The mRNA, as well as protein expression, 
was reduced in hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC, when compared to normal hepatic tissue. The fact that overexpression of SMAC sensitizes neoplastic cells to apoptosis, together with the importance of the role played by SMAC and IAPs in regulating apoptosis in tumor cells, became the rationale for the design and development of SMAC memetics as a new class of cancer therapeutics. SMAC memetics, a novel class of therapeutics regulating apoptosis and NFB. The discovery of SMAC memetics, or IAP antagonists, was enabled by the elucidation of the crystal structure of the interaction between SMAC and IAPs. SMAC memetics facilitate apoptotic cell death in tumor cells through multiple mechanisms. They bind and antagonize IAPs and reactivate the apoptotic pathway. SMAC memetics can eliminate IAPs by promoting auto ubiquitylation and proteosomal degradation of CIAPs, and they activate the cell's extrinsic apoptotic pathway by autocrine TNF stimulation or when TNF or TRAIL are present in the tumor microenvironment. Interestingly, the induction of apoptosis is highly specific for susceptible tumors and spares normal tissue. In tissue culture, SMAC memetics are capable of killing tumor cells in the picomolar concentration range, while having no effect on normal cells in the 100 micromolar range. This marked selectivity is thought to be a result of elevated levels of key caspases in tumor cells. Several SMAC memetics have been developed that have demonstrated good anti-tumor activity in preclinical studies. Bivalent SMAC memetics are significantly more potent than monovalent SMAC memetics, as they generally have improved pharmacokinetics. Bivalent memetics have a higher molecular weight and may require a parenteral administration. Of those SMAC memetics that have entered the clinic, the most advanced is TL32711 a potent bivalent small molecule SMAC memetic. Preclinical studies in patient-derived tumor xenotransplant models in mice have shown that TL32711 leads to tumor regression as a single agent and that it displays synergy when combined with specific chemotherapies. TL32711 has been shown to restore cancer cell sensitivity to apoptotic stimuli, such as TNF or TRAIL in a panel of patient-derived human cell lines. A phase 1 first-in-man study of TL32711 in adult patients with advanced solid tumors and lymphoma showed that intravenous TL32711 was well-tolerated with no dose-limiting toxicities – maximum tolerated dose had not been reached – and demonstrated evidence of anti-tumor activity. Pharmacokinetics were dose-proportional with moderate to low interpatient variability in CMAX and AUC and a long terminal half life in plasma. Importantly, TL32711 showed high concentrations and good retention in tumor tissues with suppression of the CIAP1 target for the entire one week dose interval. TL32711 also induced activation of serum caspase 3 and 7. A phase 1b 2a 5 arm study of TL32711 in combination with five different chemotherapies was currently underway at the time of this article. Additional phase 1 and 2 clinical studies are planned for both solid tumors and hematological malignancies. Conclusion SMAC memetics are a new class of cancer therapeutics with great potential to overcome the limitations of current anti-cancer therapies. SMAC memetics are generally well tolerated and have demonstrated rapid suppression of their target, the IAPs, activation of apoptosis, and anti-tumor activity. Additionally, SMAC memetics may help to overcome the resistance associated with conventional cancer therapies mediated by the NFB and IAP pathways. This article was written by Dr. Mark A. McKinley. Dr. McKinley is currently Global Health Director at the Task Force for Global Health. At the time of authoring this article, Mark was co-founder 
Senior Vice President of Research and Development, and Chief Scientific Officer of Tetralogic Pharmaceuticals. Prior to Tetralogic, Dr. McKinley was a co-founder and Vice President of R&D for Vero Pharma Corporation. Dr. McKinley was also Senior Director of Virology and Oncopharmacology at Sterling Winthrop Pharmaceuticals Research Division. He was a postdoctoral fellow at the John Hopkins School of Public Health and holds a PhD and MS in Biology from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. If you've enjoyed this episode, then you can subscribe to the journal free of charge by visiting ddw-online.com, where you'll also be able to view full articles including references and download the original PDFs of past articles. You can find the links to the article for this episode in the show notes. Unfortunately, we don't currently have the PDF, but we'll hope to get this up shortly. If you've enjoyed the podcast, then as always, do leave us a review and subscribe. Thanks for listening, and we'll hope to see you in the next episode.